All right, something new for you guys. Welcome to the Maintenance Man channel. My name is Neil. I'm setting up my recording studio. I've been thinking about it. I want to make another album. Um, so in 2005, one man band myself, I started Bathtub Wallaby. You can Google it. There should be a Reverb Nation still up. Anyways, I think I made seven or eight albums. 99 songs and then you know had kids and stuff so you know a few things first this is my eight track digital task cam with the built-in burner on the side it's a nice little setup for recording i'm gonna have to get all back into this uh believe it's behringer speakers cheapo microphone taped to a non-microphone stand it was actually like uh, i forget and then i got behringer um you know one of those mics um that record condenser mic um this is my old crate i believe it's a uh it's an amp it's a what I meant to say is I believe it's a 75 watt. Let me see here in the back. It's heavy, man. And it's pretty old. I've had it for probably going on 20 years now. But there's some cool hookups in the back. I mean, you can basically do like a one-man concert here. I think it's a 60 watt, maybe. But it sounds good. And you can hook up... It's an acoustic amp, guitar amp, but I play both through it, both electric and acoustic, and you can put your vocals in there. It's cool. It's got like a little mixing board. It's a nice sounding amp. I just got that little Ibanez bass amp because when you record on this, you can direct record your, um, but the bass never sounds right. So I always like using a bass amp. It's just a little 10 amp. Amp. I used to have a 50 uh, amp PV bass amp, but on the condenser mic, it sounds good. That's how I like to record most of my stuff is through the condenser mic. Now I just picked up this little orange amp uh, not too long ago. I haven't even played it yet with the move and everything. So I'm going to set this up right here. Might get a little drum set for right there. Um, I do have a couple pedals here. This one's just like a clean sounding pedal. This is a dripping delay. This is your little fuzzy overdrive. And then I have another little delay pedal over here. These are pretty inexpensive on Amazon, but they sound really good. You know, I used to have the uh, Digitech. I had two Digitechs with a bunch of different sounds and, uh, you know, they're fun. You can play around with them. They got drum beats and stuff. But, um, you know, it's just too much. I, I don't use all that stuff. And I, I'm buying what I need. Um, and I think these sound better overall. Now, one man band. So I play guitar, bass, drums, sing. There's songs where I had... I used to have mandolins and banjos. I don't know how to actually play these instruments, but I'm like a primitive musician, I guess you would say. So it might not be your style, but um, I did start a YouTube channel and TikTok and Instagram, Bathtub Wallaby. Um, you'll see a little face with a knife going towards it. It looks like a two-year-old drew it, but it's what I've been using. Um, anyways, so yeah, let me get more set up and then we'll just play around a little bit. This is going to be my only video of music stuff on this channel. I will be posting more tool content. I've just been very busy. All right, so some cool things about this is you can actually record two tracks, mic up two things at once. So sing and play guitar however you want. See a sign B, a sign A. Then you assign them up to these tracks. And then, you know, you can control 
a lot of stuff on each track and then you got the master volume and effect and there's effects in here and stuff that you could add in and there's all sorts of stuff stop or wine I just fired this up it fires right up now my instruments this Brownsville guitar is my guitar I got this when I was 16 so 20 years ago um, this is just like an SX, uh, it's an electric acoustic guitar, sounds pretty good, um, these aren't anything great, same with the bass, they just make my music, man, I only know this principle, but, you know, if you buy some good strings and slap them on there, like, this guitar actually sounds pretty good, I like it, and I like the feel of it, same with this one, this one's a little not so great, but it's not bad for what it is. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let me get, uh, the bass hooked up and maybe let's play around with that new Ibanez amp, see how that sounds. Alright, so I was playing around with this little Ibanez and I'm pretty, I don't know if it'll come up on that. I do have a little condenser mic for my phone. For some reason when I play guitar and it has a nice sound to it. One of the songs we used to play, I came up with the bass line for it. So I did have a band, and we played around a little bit. Um, this one was called Norfolk, Norfolk Western. And uh, it just kind of went like this on the bass. And this is what I mean by I don't really know how to play this song. So... alternative too I know it sounds terrible I haven't played anything in a while but uh, I kind of want to do like I don't have any more in these four notes, but I'll get there somewhere. But it just goes like. I think I can make something trippy out of that. around on this orange I got plugged into the orange here I'm using the enchanted tone no effect
My fingers are already hurting.
if I fiddle around and find something new here.